So I've been working on uh, just getting back into tuning. As you can see, it's preliminary. And as you can see, it water, our coolant hose just blew off. So this hose there, I had one of those, these nice uh, like shrink kind of clamps on there. I do have a bead on that tubing, but I guess I'll have to put a conventional clamp on there. We'll see if I get it to hold. That shouldn't be too bad. So anyway, I'll get that fixed and uh, I'll get it running again. So this is the heat shrink clamp. And I like these things, so I'm kind of surprised it failed. Uh, I sliced it to take it off. But uh, I just put anyway a traditional clamp on there. I have these heat shrinks I think several other places though, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. I might have to uh, put some conventional clamps on as well, just as uh, belt and suspenders. Anyway, let's uh, fire it back up and see if it blows again. Okay, so there you have it. It actually idles pretty well. That um, I have a pretty narrow range that's tuned there and in that area it's pretty good. But uh, I'll have to do quite a bit more on the mapping just to get it all sorted out. You may have noticed, uh, it looks like it's blowing smoke on deceleration afterwards. So I don't know if that's because the motor hasn't been running in a long time. Maybe because it's a junkyard 5.3. Uh, we'll see, I guess. But uh, it might need some work done on the short block. Either way, I'll sort that out in due time. The, uh, the plan for right now, actually, I'll spend some more time uh, tuning it. 
Uh, I'm going to get it off the trailer and probably put it in the field and just see if I can power around on the grass. And uh, definitely I need to pitch the prop. It's, um, it's too fine right now. It spins up too easily. Just that was like quarter throttle. It'll go to 4,500 RPM. So I'm going to put a lot more pitch into it to uh, uh, build some boost. And, uh, you know, throws a lot of wind right now. I guess that'll get even more so with more pitch. Anyway, see ya.